Hello friends, uh, my name is Shubhat and in this video tutorial, I will show you how to configure Shopify in the connector model. So, this is the product page. You click uh, here, this is the right demo link. And this is the uh, item link. This is the user name if you want to check it out. Links will be available in the description. So, let's quickly go to the uh, Shopify. In the terminal settings, this is the window uh, and the bar link, and this is the Shopify and the bar link. So, let me check. These are the demo widgets here demo and password the demo. Get one. Now, click here. To finish it. Uh, please check out my previous video to see how to get this connection. Now, uh, you will do attribute mapping. Uh, now, here you will find three columns. In the first column, you will find product fields of the Shopify uh, like name, description, price, weight, vendor, other type. So, uh, here you need to select the key attribute. Which uh, corresponds to a shopping product key. So, shopping product key, this name, and this is the affiliate attribute. So, make sure you have already created these attributes in the video. So, I will select this and description price, price, weight. So, like that, you can select all the attributes. Uh, for the matching for the field. Now, in the uh, this fixed value column, here you can choose any uh, like and set any fixed value for all the exported products. So let's say I want to set a stock quantity uh, for all the uh, Exported products which will be exported to Shopify. I will first select select the attribute and here I will write let's say total. So after this and let's say so after this all the exported products quantity will be hundred. And so this value is not available, so this value will be used for all the export commands and I do the export job. Okay, now coming down to uh, Shopify meta fields, you can uh, select the Shopify meta fields uh, which will be you know, uh, used in Shopify. So, here these are the audience in your attributes. So, you can simply select which uh, you know, attribute will be used as a Shopify meta field. Okay, so now let's uh, come down to quick export currency mapping. So uh, this model also support quick export feature where you can uh, export products by simply selecting them here. If you go to this, that. And let's say you uh, just want to export like some selection of products like this, this. So you can simply click here to export and use the option. Okay, and export. So for that, uh, with export, you can select which currency price will be used. So this is the uh, attributes mapping configuration page. Now uh, let's go to Import attribute mapping. So uh, here you will be basically doing configuration for importing data from Shopify to Akinu. So uh, here you will uh, you need to select product family for all these simple products. So to change, simply select any uh, family. Uh, also, you need to uh, 
or even some image attribute for all the common images. So you can select it what is already so make sure you have already created uh, these two image attributes in the table. Now you need to select a uh, variant image. These all settings are only for the importing products. Now if you want to uh, like uh, map more values, more, I mean more product themes, you can also do that by uh, entering the Shopify standard attribute code here and clicking add field. So let me give you a quick example. So okay, so there's a uh, I have an attribute code which is required. Simply click add the value will be added here. Now uh, I select key attribute. Save. Now uh, all the uh, products values where I am mentioning information about shipping required uh, will be you know. Uh, can be seen uh, and seen in products for imported products. Okay, so these are the uh, more configuration. I hope I have covered everything and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.